South Dakota, South Dakota. South Dakota. Oh. And you say it like mashed potato. Oh. We are facing east, due east. We are looking at the back side of the uh, pawn shop teepee that we had purchased. I'm not too impressed with the front part of it. Uh, you usually have two or three pegs on the front door on the portion that, portion that you step over. And then you have the little three foot hole that you stoop down, squat down, and step through. And then from there, you usually have six, six pegs that lace up the front. Well, this contraption has about 10. We had to get the ladder to put up the front, but then we didn't do the other top portions. We ran out of little sticks. <laughs> That's why it's wrinkled on the front, on the side, on the south side, the right side of the screen. And it is, uh, actually I should have put the back pole from the screen that we're looking at on the left hand side, the pole that touches the ground and, and goes up the back through the shadow there of, that's cast upon the, uh, anyway, that pole on the inside, that is the lift pole. That is tied top and bottom and you can see that tiny little micro red strap somewhere right there above my foot you see that little red strap. That's the marking on the back of the teepee for the back wall. And then at the top, it has that uh, center, center uh, foot long uh, strapping of uh, cloth fabric that it's, uh, it's, it's about a foot long and four inches wide. And uh, you can either tie that up uh, on the top or I tied it, uh, so it folded inward and uh, lashed it around the uh, top of the lift pole. It was uh, 17 feet from bottom edge to top sewn edge. Next time I'll just tie it up a little bit tighter instead of uh, 17 feet. I'll tie it up uh, an extra. 17.5 feet or so because all of that sag and then uh, I have to put my tripod poles lash them at the top just as gauche taller and um, that should take the wrinkles out when we try and uh, button up the front anyway we are looking to the east there's three teepees now in our uh, in, my, in our uh, possession so and no these are not the artifacts I speak of in my other posts and stuff that are in my possession as well but anyway these uh, three teepees of ours uh, this one we uh, bought locally and we just put it up so I'm going to take it down probably in a few hours, uh, totally take it off the poles, wrap it up, put it away, then I'll have to uh, unwind the uh, rope that ties the top portion of the teepee. Anyway, those poles, the longest pole is uh, 27 feet long, and then the other pole is about 20 two feet or so. Yep, I like it. We like it. And the little ones are wanting to, uh, thinking they're gonna, they're gonna sleep outside. Well, one of the little children huh, brought out a little six foot, uh, two man uh, commercial tent and decided to put it up inside the TV, but now he's moving it outward because it's a little bit too big for the inside portion. But anyway, kids are kids. We're just gonna put some rugs 
on the inside of this uh, teepee and uh, spray the ground around it with the uh, bug spray and uh, bring out a sleeping bag and some sheets and uh, I'll be sleeping out here with, uh, uh, with at least one of the children. But uh, hey, this is what we do. So once again, we're looking at the back of the teepee. So, uh, it's off the ground just right. You can always make things nice and tidy and even by staking the bottom. We don't have very many stakes either, so I'll, one of the little ones push something out. But anyway, yep.